Hey guys, back again with another video. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about the Revit Stealth Hoodie, uh, the black version. I got this off of Chrome Burner Motor Gear website. Um, this was the cheapest place I could find for this jacket. I didn't want to buy it over here in the United States because it was just um, too much. But anyways, let's get started. So I've had this jacket for, I think, like almost two weeks now. Um, over here in Oregon, we have pretty decent weather right now. It's not, I mean, if you know anything about Oregon, it rains a lot here. So I wanted a jacket that could, you know, repel the rain. Um, a jacket that could also ride, you know, for the three months of sun that we have here. Um, to have, you know, some kind of ventilation. And this jacket does provide that. Um, it's a nice little hanger. So, I did buy the um, back protector that um, is an optional add-on for this jacket. I already installed it in here, but I can show you where it goes. So, don't make the mistake that I did. I <laughs> It doesn't just slide in this pocket. Um, there's actually another pocket right here so it's not a zipper but it's velcro but anyways you open this up and this is actually where you stick that um you know additional back protector it's not additional i should say let me fix that there isn't a back protector for this jacket you have to actually it's a it's an add-on you actually have to buy um, but anyways, it goes in that slot and it sits flush with the jacket. They do have sizing for it. Like, um, I got a small, so I think I got like the size two or something like that. Yeah, it sits here. Oh no, it's a size four. Anyways, it says type RV size four. But anyways, they have a chart online that tells you, you know, which size back protector you should get for whatever size jacket that you buy um so one thing i wish that this jacket did have more of is the uh pockets so right now there's on the inside there's just one pocket here it's big enough for you know like an iphone 7 plus so it's pretty decent size but it's only held up by the or it's only closed by the velcro so one thing I don't really like too much. I mean, it's easy. I guess it's just you know easy, you know, open and close. But I prefer something more secure for my stuff. Um, as far as other pockets, you have just these two in the front, and then it does have a little button here, so you can, you know, not have your pockets flop around when you're riding. Um, it also has on the back here for the hoodie. So yes, it does have a hoodie and it has a button here that you can snap together So then when you're riding it doesn't you know flop with the wind um, Here's a little Revit logo And you actually cannot take this off. I've seen videos where people say you can take it off. That's not true It's on there for good. I mean, I guess you can take out the stitches, but What's the point of that? Here's 3M reflectors on your elbow area. There's also um, some rubber protection pads here. Nothing in the elbows that I can tell. Well, actually, the rubber piece goes actually from here. And it stops right here, and it continues again all the way up here. So I guess your, your arm has a lot of protection. Um, what else do I need to talk about? I guess. I guess that's it. I mean, because I just try it on for you guys. All right. Not sure if the camera is picking it up or not, but here it is. I wouldn't wear sweats, but just trying on for the sake of the video. Always zipped up. Pocket. Honestly, it's a great looking motor.